points, rays, line segments, lines, and angles for Virginia SOL 3.15. Okay, let's take a look at these different shapes. Uh, the first one we have is a point. It looks exactly like this. It's just a dot. And a point is an exact location or position. You can see on this picture here, we have a point right there in the middle. So a point is just a dot. It's a space. Exactly right there. All right, the next one we have is a line. And a line is straight, and it continues in both directions. If you take a look at this one right here. You see the arrow. It's pointing this way. It's telling me that that line is going to go on forever in that direction. And down here, we have this arrow pointing downward, meaning the line continues moving in that direction as well. The way we can tell it's a line is because it has two arrows on either end and it's straight. Next we have line segment and a line segment is part of a line. So if you think about the line we just looked at that goes on and on in both directions, a line segment is just a small piece of that line and it has two endpoints. You can see here, here's one endpoint, that's where it begins and here's the second endpoint over here is where it stops. It's just a piece of that line. And you can tell the line segment if you see a picture because it has two endpoints on the end. There are no arrows, just endpoints or dots. Next we have a ray. An array is part of a line that has one endpoint. It continues in one direction without ending. And the way we can tell it's a array is because it has an endpoint has a dot on one end and an arrow telling us that it's going to continue going in that direction without stopping. The last one word we want to take a look at is an angle. And an angle is formed when two rays share an endpoint. When the, the rays are sharing an endpoint, that's called a vertex. If you take a look right there where the arrow is pointing, that would be the vertex. That would be where uh, the two rays, and you can tell it's a ray because it has a dot on one end and an arrow on the other. They're both rays. You can, that's called the vertex. All right, let's do some practice. Take a look at this figure. And I want you to tell me, what is this figure? Is it a point? Is it a line? Or is it a line segment? Take a moment, figure out your answer. And if you chose B line, you are correct because as you can see, it has an arrow on this side and an arrow on this side telling us that it's going to continue on in both directions. Okay, here's another practice. How many line segments are in this rectangle? Is it five, four, or seven? Go ahead and take a moment, write down your answer. Okay, the correct answer here is letter B. There are four. Let's count them together. This is one line segment. Here's your endpoint, another endpoint. Here's your second line segment, your third one right here, and number four right over here. Okay, here's another one. What is the name of this figure? Is this figure a line? Is it a ray? Or is it a line segment? Go ahead and choose your answer. Okay, if you chose B, ray, you are correct. You can see here it has an endpoint on this end and an arrow on this end, telling me that it continues on in just one direction. All right, please be sure to subscribe to the channel below. Uh, click the subscribe button below so you can keep updated with what we've got going on. Also, if you enjoyed this video or learned something, please leave a comment. And don't forget to visit my blog at mrpearsonteachesthirdgrade.blogspot.com. And this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.